Hello everyone, in this video we are going to show my uh, new uh, GPU setup with uh, the new laptop because my old laptop and HP Omen 15 with Intel uh, i7 10th gen died so uh, I needed to replace with another laptop and I chose a Lenovo Legion uh, 5 Pro 16 uh, in this uh, new uh, with this new laptop, I, uh, there is uh, a Intel uh, a 12, uh, 12700H with an RTX uh, 37 mobile DGPU, and uh, as always, we have uh, my RTX uh, 37 Ti uh, external GPU with uh, a Core X, uh, Razer Core X uh, external enclosure. So we're going to watch some uh, benchmark and other stuff. So uh, let's go, shall we? So I replaced the old laptop with a Legion 5 Pro 16 with a 12th gen uh, Intel Core i7 12700H uh, with a 32 GB of uh, RAM DDR5 at uh, 4800 MHz and uh, with internal storage Samsung which is the one uh, that came with the laptop uh, which is NVMe uh, 4 PCI4 and uh, with uh, any second internal storage which I added uh, which is a um, 2 terabyte uh, SK Inix P31 Gold I choose this driver only because uh, since it is in my laptop this uh, driver is very low power consumption and uh, uh, it doesn't uh, produce a lot of heat and so this is the laptop the setup remains still the same, with the same eGPU, with the Core X, uh, Razer Core X, the same uh, of overclocking, this means a custom curve. Which is limited, you see it's very high, but it is limited to uh, 2100 megahertz using a specific script and uh, I found uh, the memory clock stability at around 1500 megahertz plus 1500 megahertz e, but uh, even at 2000 megahertz it still ran fine only with port royal stress test uh, in stress test mode uh, the, the, the game crash, the PC doesn't crash, but the game is crashing after uh, 3 or 4 loops. So the same setup as before, but uh, with a quite uh, improvement in performance. And this is the same script I used uh, before in the previous GPU setup, which launched uh, at startup uh, Afterburner, MSI Afterburner, only if uh, the NVIDIA Reforce RTX 37 Ti gaming S3 of MSI is uh, attached uh, using uh, the Thunderbolt cable and uh, set uh, MSI Afterburner with this kind of overclock plus uh, a command that set the maximum frequency of the GPU to 21 100 megahertz. This, uh, this is very important because this curve uh, can shift, uh, can shift uh, very high if the temperature is low, or uh, it can shift low if the temperature, the ambient temperature is high. It is very important to put a very high frequency and then cut it off uh, using this command and keep it uh, max out uh, to 2100 megahertz. Because for me and for this card is the point where uh, it's still stable. The GPU is still stable and doesn't crash. And uh, the eGPU is already detected uh, in the BIOS. Instead, on the previous uh, laptop, on the HP Omen, 
uh, it was only detected uh, uh, to Windows login with even some uh, configuration. Here it is already detected in the BIOS and uh, therefore it is even detected uh, during the boot uh, of Windows. Instead with the previous laptop, it was not even detected during uh, the boot and also in the BIOS was not detected. Uh, so Lenovo configuration is much better in this regard. I tested the GPU with a different uh, cable, all short cable, because I don't need a very long uh, cable because the GPU is uh, behind the laptop, uh, so uh, I don't need an active Thunderbolt 3 or 4 cable, and all uh, the performance on all of the cable are more or less the same. Maybe the stability is a little bit different because uh, I found that with uh, the StarTech cable, uh, which is uh, 50 cm long, uh, I think it is for the best stability. And even with uh, the OWC cable, which is around 70 cm long, uh, is quite good the stability. With the anchor, uh, is, um, it works well, but sometimes uh, I, in playing games uh, there is something not right, but uh, it is even good even that. Uh, the Apple cable, uh, there are some problems with the Apple cable about the connection, because it's very tight both on the laptop and on the GPU, so I don't like it a lot because I, it feel like I'm breaking the Thunderbolt uh, part of the, the laptop or the Thunderbolt uh, part of uh, the GPU, uh, so I, I cannot recommend it. Now we are going to check uh, benchmark, synthetic benchmark with the 3D mark. Uh, in the synthetic benchmark I managed to uh, do legendary for uh, all the benchmark I tested uh, using uh, the same overclock on uh, the eGPU plus uh, I added uh, some overclock on the memory clock and uh, put it on uh, 2000 MHz plus and with that setting I managed to do legendary on an, an, an night raid Anyway, the GPU is all around the maximum 65, 64, 62 degrees on a wildlife stream. So it is the best performance with the system with the same CPU I'm using, which is a 12th gen I core, uh, core i7 12700H. Wildlife stream, wildlife uh, not a stream, even here legendary. I'm going to quickly legendary with the sp speedway with the, the OWC cable. Strangely, I managed to do only with the OWC cable this uh, score. Times by a stream. Venger very means that uh, I, did the, I did the best when, best result worldwide with the, this CPU. 
right now. Uh, maybe in the future if someone does better. Uh, time spy stream, which is uh, seven uh, more than seven thousand. As a result, Port Royal with the new cable. For the latest cable, cable I tested. Even your legendary. The Port Royal Time Spy. Normal Time Spy. In which I almost reached 15,000 as a best score. And I did it, I think, with the new cable. The blue sheet. I strike legendary. Which is uh, almost a 10k score. Ultra. Ultra. Uh, Solar Bay. Seventy five K score. That's the section in this benchmark. I didn't know that. First Eric uh, normal Still overall the best result from Legendary And uh, first strike extreme Still the best performance ever. And here the temperature 65 on the GPU. Uh, 73. And uh, on the CPU, because this is a CPU test in this part of the benchmark. Uh, with the old setup with the HP Omen. Laptop, uh, I've only did the 3D Mark uh, Time Spy test, and we can check the result here and compare it. And compare it with uh, no data available, it is quite strange anyway. This is HP Omen with the Intel Core i7 R10 7 150 H and here we are around 11k with the Temp Spy instead with the uh, new system with um, the Renault Region 5 Pro and the 12th uh, Gen CPU, we are almost at uh, 50k as maximum performance, as maximum score uh, benchmark. So there is an improvement of uh, more than uh, 3000 points in the score. So there is a huge improvement uh, from the last laptop uh, to the new one. I'm quite um, satisfied with the new setup so thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe and if uh, we we'll get uh, the hands on uh, an rtx uh, 70 super uh, i will try to do another video with the update with the new performance improvement uh, even if uh, the thunderbolt uh, connection is quite a bottleneck but i think with uh, a new 470 uh, super gpu will go 
even faster. So thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.